Let's talk about muscle loss. Yeah, the whole yeah. thing about muscle loss, I think, is way overblown because it, it, mm. it's actually interesting. Because if you do a seven day fast, and they just recently did a study on this, mm. uh, where somebody did, they, they took people, put them on a seven day fast, and then when they measured their fat, what happened is that they, they lost fat mm -hmm. and they lost lean mass, which people say, oh, you're losing a lot of muscle. Mm -hmm. But then when they ate again, the fat sort of stayed off, but the muscle came back. Which means that if your muscle goes down and then goes back up, you probably didn't lose it. It was mm -hmm. probably just the water that was being counted or the glycogen. So glycogen is a molecule that carries a lot of water. Mm -hmm. It's a chain of glucose, but your muscles carry it. So if your muscles are using up the glycogen, mm -hmm. then it looks like you're losing muscle mass. Mm -hmm. You're losing muscle glycogen. So it's, it's very interesting because, you know, there, there was a lot of studies that, that looked at this um, and what they did was, again, a longer fast. So when we're talking muscle loss, most people are talking about multi-day fast, like five right. days, seven days. And the thing is that when you measure it by just the um, you know, DEXA scan, uh -huh. the standard scans, it looks like you lose a lot of muscle, uh, muscle uh, when you do that fast. But in this study, what they did was they also measured muscular strength. Mm -hmm. And it didn't go down. It actually went up slightly. So it's like, obviously, it's, it's not less than it was. Then when you measure them when they f feed again, mm -hmm. then the muscle goes back up. So it's like, well, how can muscle go back up without increasing exercise? Right? So the whole idea that fasting causes muscle loss is all wrong. Uh -huh. Muscles you, you get smaller when you don't use them. And they get bigger when you do use them. Right. That's why you exercise, right? right? right. You lift heavier things uh -huh. so that your muscles get stronger. Right. They don't get stronger because you eat. Uh -huh. So if you don't eat, your muscles also don't, don't get smaller if you're putting the same amount of I weight see. on that. So if you, but when you try and measure it with some of these electrical impedance uh -huh. things, it will show up as loss of muscle. Uh -huh. When you eat again, it will show up as gain of muscle. But obviously it doesn't make any sense that your body is losing muscle with no change in exercise and gaining mm -hmm. muscle with no change in exercise. And yet your muscular strength is exactly the same as it used to be. I see, I see. So the whole idea is that muscles get stronger or weaker based on how much you use them, mm -hmm. not on what you're eating or what you're not eating. So why you would confuse the two things, I don't know why. <laughs> like it, it's strange because if you put some an astronaut up in space, they lose muscle very fast. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there's no gravity. no gravity. You put somebody in bed rest, they lose muscle very fast. Right. Why? Because they're not using it. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with what you eat. And then people say, you should eat more. Mm -hmm. If you eat more and stay in bed, you'll still you lose muscle fed, mass. Right? Yeah. You'll get fat. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know why it's such mm -hmm. a big, like people get so crazy about mm -hmm. this whole idea of muscle loss. But it's like, no, if you want to build muscle, you use it. If you want to not lose muscle, you use it. That's mm -hmm. all. That's all. It would yeah. be great if I could just eat mm -hmm. and get muscular. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Right. I could go eat, you know, 10 hamburgers, mm -hmm. you know, protein and all that. I won't gain any muscle <laughs> That's right. because I'm not using my right. muscles. I mean, even if you eat a lot of protein, no exercise, you're not going to grow you're muscles. You're not going right? to grow muscles. So yeah. why would you do that? Like, right. I, I understand bodybuilders and highland mm -hmm. level athletes. Yes, maybe they need more protein because mm -hmm. they're exercising. There's more, more that they need to mm -hmm. do. But this idea for regular people that they should eat more protein to gain muscle? No. Mm -hmm. You need to do more exercise. <laughs> that is the only way. Now, for weight loss, people do lose muscle. Mm -hmm. They all do. So if you go from 300 pounds to mm -hmm. 200 pounds, you will lose fat, but you will also lose muscle. Mm -hmm. And to some extent, it's not avoidable mm -hmm. because if you are pushing 300 pounds around every single day, mm -hmm. and now you're pushing 200 pounds around. Oh, every you're single exercising day, less. You're exercising <laughs> less. It's like if you were to wear a weight vest, uh -huh. you know, put on a vest with heavy weights on it, wearing a hundred pounds and you walk right. around every day, uh -huh. like, 24 hours a day, you're carrying this weight vest, uh -huh. you will get stronger. Absolutely. Gotcha. I see. It's the same thing. If you uh -huh. lose weight, so people say, oh, weight loss, there's muscle loss. Like, mm -hmm. yes, but there, there always is. 
right? So you have to see, you know, when you're measuring weight loss with fasting, for example, you have to say, is there more weight loss mm. with with fasting compared to other things? And really, I don't think that those concerns are valid for mm -hmm. the most part. Again, if you're highland, uh, if you're like high level athlete, mm -hmm. sure, then there may be differences. Mm -hmm. But for most people, no, there is exercise and muscles mm -hmm. and there's eating and fat right gotcha. don't confuse the two because they're mm -hmm. not the same thing mm -hmm.